Hi, welcome, Mark Anderson here, ICT Evangelist. Welcome to this edition of AppShare Live Shorts. Hi, this is Mark Anderson, ICT Evangelist. Wanted to share with you a great tool for what I sort of call rough and ready, really, um, formative assessments in the classroom. Great for checking uh, either at the end of the lesson, during a lesson, beginning of the lesson. It's so quick and easy to create these uh, little activities in Mentimeter. It's a strong recommendation. You don't need to uh, pay for an account uh, for any of the things that I share with you, although they have got a pricing strategy which you can get information from on their website at the pricing section just here. To get to the tool, <coughs> simply go to mentimeter.com and uh, once you're logged in, simply go to the area called your presentations. You can see the presentations that you've made previously listed. Uh, here's one that I did uh, a little while ago at uh, Worcester University. Uh, go in, you can see the things that you did previously. You can see the responses. Uh, that are there. Uh, it takes a few seconds for it to all just sort of come up and, and be viewable again uh, within here. There's all the uh, responses there, for example. Okay, now the key thing to remember with a, a, a presentation that you make in Mentimeter is that you only get two slides for free. But that's fine if you're looking to think about just making something for rough and ready, quick, formative assessments in the classroom. So to make one, it's very, very simple. You just go to where it says new presentation. And if you're familiar with, and I'm sure you are, things like PowerPoint, Google Slides, Keynote, what have you, it works on the same sort of basis that you have slides that you can put information on to. What's different with Mentimeter, and I know you can do some of these things in things like Google Slides, where you can put uh, sort of quizzes and things and polls onto slides. But there are some options here within Mentimeter, which I think are really, really powerful. So let's just do uh, one which, which we'll just call the example example and uh, go to create presentation and it brings up the presentation tool your slides that you create are listed then aside over here and you can import slides from different places like PowerPoint and PDF and whatnot and you can add extra slides by pressing the add slide option there on the right hand side you get different types of questions that you can ask so you can ask multiple choice questions and you can do uh, ratings on sliding scales, ranking questions, questions responding to an image, uh, sort of bog standard, uh, Q&A, open-ended questions, all those sort of things. A feature that I regularly use is the word cloud option. That's the one that you saw a second ago from the University of Worcester example. Um, the content slides are for where you want to make sort of standard presentation slides. So you can make those quite easily using those options there. And there's some advanced options here as well for you to have a little play around with as well. But I'm just going to show you quickly how to go about making a word cloud response. So to make a word cloud response, all you do is go to the option word cloud over here, tap onto it, and it takes you through to the settings uh, for the word cloud. So to um, do this, you simply put in the question you want to ask. Uh, so what is your favourite colour? Um, more suitable for a lesson, uh, what keywords were important from last lesson, let's say you're doing a little retrieval activity uh, based on questions from things you did during your last lesson. You can choose how many entries you'll allow people to put in, I'll put quite a few in so I can give you some examples myself. I always check the profanity filter and just in case that stops children from being able to put in some naughty words. Not every language is represented. For example, I work with a lot of schools in Wales and obviously Welsh isn't an option there. And then there's a few extra opportunities down the bottom here. And that's just all you have to do to create the presentation to share with your class to use it and, and get responses. When you're at this stage here, uh, you just go to present and run it and it gives you a code at the top. So the code for this one is 63, 45, 37. And I'm on my uh, phone while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna put some key things in. So enter a word. So I'll enter some words in here and I'll just type those in right now. And um, being a word cloud uh, response, the more frequent the word, uh, the larger that word will be represented in the actual um, 
word cloud that is generated. So just going to submit those like so and then a few moments later that will ping right through and show itself, here we go, on the screen like so. Now the more respondents you have, uh, the bigger the word cloud, the better it looks. I think it's really, really lovely. Uh, you can go to full screen if you want to, so you can hide the bar at the top here simply by going to the settings cog down here and then going to the full screen thing here. You can hide the results if you want to, so you can show them later on. Reset results, close voting. You can do a countdown to uh, when the voting is going to be closed. Uh, a few little things there. And when you're finished, simply just press uh, escape and that will close it down, bring you back through to this screen. And that's that. Once you've finished uh, with the activity, if you want to get a um, sort of local copy, of the presentation simply go to Mentimeter here or down to your presentations in the bottom left hand corner and then it shows you all of your different ones here and there's some options on the side here for you to open share export move it into a folder you can create folders by clicking on the new folder option here to help you organize your different activities into different areas and what's nice as well if you've got multiple classes where you want to actually use this repeatedly with lots of different classes you can simply go to the duplicate option here and you can create a whole brand new one but with settings that you've already put into place with slides that are already in there and so that's it mentimeter simple easy to use quick effective love it Thanks for watching, Mark Anderson, ICT Evangelist. For more on this sort of thing, please check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ICT Evangelist, or visit my site, ictevangelist.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day.